In this video we're going to learn how to find the equation of a hyperbola in Cartesian in and parametric form in common NCA situations. Okay so let's have a look at a hyperbola. Um, so what it is we tend to have two sections here so we have this part of the hyperbola and this part here and the questions that I'm going to be dealing with I'm really only interested in this part but actually the equation does apply for it all. This is the general form very similar to an ellipse but we have a negative instead of a positive and here we have sec instead of cos and tan instead of sine. And again, the same difference is going on here. One thing to notice about a hyperbola, we do have our apex point here. We have another one here and we have our foci here and here. And these lines here, the asymptotes that the hyperbola gets closer and closer to. And they're of the form y equals plus or minus b over a. And that's the b and a that we've got here. And just like with ellipses, we have a connection um, between um, the B value, the A value and the foci C value which is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Make sure that you don't make the mistake of using the ellipse form. Okay so let's look where we um, find the equation of the hyperbola and we're given the asymptote and the apex. So what we need to find is the value of A and B. So the first thing I'll do is find the centre and the centre is going to be where the asymptotes cross which is at 0, 0. The value of A is the distance between the centre and the apex so A has a value of 4. I need, now need to find B and we use the gradient of the asymptote and the gradient here is 2 so that means B over A equals 2 from the formula so that gives us that B equals 8. Now we've got A and B I can just substitute them into this equation to get the Cartesian form and into this equation to get the parametric form. For our next example, let's find the equation when we know the foci and the apex. So again, we're going to find the center because the center is going to be midway between the two foci. So the center must be at 4, 2, just the average of these two points. Then we're going to find the A value. And remember, the A value is the distance of the apex, um, apex to the center. So A has a value of 1. Now, the C value is the distance of the foci from the center. So the C value is 3. And if you remember, we know that C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So that means B squared must equal 8. So we're going to substitute the B squared equals 8 and the A squared equals 1 to get the equation here. Remember that um, M and N are 4 and 2 for the centre and we're going to substitute in the same way here. And obviously um, 8 is the same as, and root 8 is the same as 2 root 2. Okay, so this is our last example. And it is the harder of the ones. and You might want to watch this one more than once and make sure you can really um, understand what's going on. So here we're going to find the equation where we know the asymptotes and the focus. So we've got our hyperbola has these asymptotes here and this is the focus. So we want to find the centre first. And the centre is where the asymptotes cross. So you just let 3x plus 3 equal minus 3x minus 9 and you solve that to get the x value substitute in to get the y value so you get the center at minus 3 minus 2 and obviously you can see it see here that the focus is 3 away because the distance between 1 and minus 2 is 3 so we've got the c value we've got the center um, so we know that m equals minus 2 and n equals minus 3 um, we now need to find A and B. We don't have either of them, but we do have a connection between them. The gradient is 3. I know we've got the minus 3 here, but we're going to take the gradient as 3. So we know that B over A equals 3, which means B equals 3A. We do have a connection between A, B and C, which is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Let's shove in everything that we know. So C is 3, so we get 9. A is A, so it's A squared. But we know that B equals 3A, so we get 9A squared. Rearranging this, we end up with A squared equals 9 over 10. And obviously um, B squared is going to be 9A squared, so we're going to get 81 over 9. So substituting A squared and B squared and M and N into this equation gives us this. 
Um, just remember dividing by 9 over 10 is the same as multiplying by 10 over 9 and substituting into here and I'll let you do the extra um, manipulation we get this equation in the parametric form. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in infield with Winfield.